morning everybody I'm talking very quietly because it is five or six in the morning and Tom's in bed um, as you can guess by the title of this video um, the reason that I got up at five o'clock is because I'm testing out the 5am club strategy so um, I'll talk about this a little bit more when it gets a little bit later um, because I don't want to do loads of talking at this time in the morning um, but basically you get up at 5am every morning and it's supposed to help your productivity so I thought I'd give it a go in the name of making content for YouTube <sighs> but I'm shattered I didn't go to bed any earlier last night um, if you can hear some weird noises in the background cat's having his breakfast so sorry if you can hear some weird like <laughs> sounds um yeah oh, I forgot what I was gonna say <laughs> I don't normally get up this early in the morning um the only time I would ever get up this early in the morning is if I have to go and do something for work or if I'm going on holiday <laughs> so we're gonna do this we're gonna get up at 5am every morning for a week and we're gonna see um what it does to my productivity if it helps and if i like it i suspect i'm not gonna like it, but we will see right i need some coffee i need some coffee and then i'll speak to you again very shortly Somebody's been a cheeky boy. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I don't normally allow him on the worktop, by the way. I know what he wants. So normally, while the kettle is boiling, I will pick him up and we'll sit, both of us, with our heads out of the door and I kind of cradle him in my arms and let him look out the window. But I don't want to do that at five o'clock in the morning. Um, and I think he's a bit upset. You're upset that you can't look out the window. Oh. We'll do it later, I promise. We'll do it later. Come on, get down. Come on. Oh, good boy. So, I don't really know what to do myself now. Um, I normally would get up at like half past seven, so I've got like two and a half extra hours this morning. Um, and part of it, what I would like to do is spend some time just relaxing because getting up at half past seven every morning, I'm like going straight away and rushing most mornings and it would be nice to have a slower start to the morning. So I definitely want to do that. I would quite like to shower and get my hair washed because <laughs> it's mucky um, before half past seven or at least at half past seven. Um, and maybe do a little bit of work. I mean, I know that's what most people do when they get up half at five o'clock. They'll do like a couple of hours work before the rest of their family wake up. So maybe I could do that. Maybe I could do some writing um or some social media stuff just something that doesn't take too much brain power um but for now because this is the first day i'm going to take my coffee i'm going to go upstairs and i'm going to do something for like half an hour 45 minutes just to kind of come round. so i went up to my office and i sat and looked at my computer for a bit and then i found the perfect morning meditation to do um it literally said the perfect morning meditation so how could i ignore that really um meditation something that I've got into doing recently and I really enjoy it I find that just a five or ten minute meditation in the morning helps me to feel productive get started be in a positive mindset for the day so I put one on um, I think it was literally about 20 past five when I did this but 
um, it felt really nice to have that time first thing in the morning and also the sun was rising whilst I was sat there um, this side of our house faces kind of northeast and so I was watching the sunrise come up and I could feel even though I had my eyes closed I could feel the sun kind of peeking around the houses and falling on my face it was just a really beautiful kind of thing that I wouldn't have experienced if I didn't get up at five o'clock so that gave me a moment of gratitude as well as kind of focusing myself for the day so I really enjoyed it the meditation that I'm watching here I will link in the description box but the channel itself is called great meditation and I really highly recommend it the woman who does it is absolutely brilliant um, and I love her meditations I've been recommending them to everyone so I highly recommend you check them out probably shouldn't have uh, press record just as I've turned the kettle on but you know <laughs> um, it is seven o'clock now my hair is looking crazy but I haven't done anything with it since I got up so you'll just have to take me as I am um, yeah it's seven o'clock now so been up for two hours and have had a more productive couple of hours than I thought I was going to do actually I ended up doing some social media scheduling for Levy Art, which is my um, marketing company uh, I need to get better at doing lots of social posting and marketing for myself. Um, in the classic case of builders never building their own home, um, I'm so busy doing marketing and promotion and social media for all of my clients that very often my own social media um, platforms tend to suffer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make myself another coffee, I'm going to make Tom a coffee, and I'm just going to go and sit up in bed for half an hour and maybe read a little bit of my book because those two hours that I've just done, um, like I said, I didn't really intend to do any work and I have done, so I think it's important for me to have a little bit of a break now before I start the day officially. Um, I think I'm going to read for about kind of half an hour, like I say, until half past seven, and then I might jump in the shower and then Tom can get in the shower after me. It's going well so far to say um although we'll see how i feel this afternoon because i wonder if starting like five six seven eight nine like four hours early um is gonna be detrimental to my work productivity like later on in the day but we'll have to wait and see right it is now 8 18 and yeah, I am now back at my desk. It's um, been a little while since I last filmed. So about seven o'clock, I went and made coffee for Tom and myself. Um, went and read in bed for half an hour. That was really nice. I'm reading um, The Daylight Gate by Jeanette Winterson. It's about the Pendle Witches and the Pendle Witch Trials, um, which obviously, if you know, or if you've come on one of my recent writing events, they were set in Pendle and they were about um, kind of persecution and... Um, the fact that I believe that they weren't really witches, they were just um, kind of wise women, herbalists who were persecuted also because they were poor. And that's kind of the same story that Jeanette Winterson is telling in The Daylight Gate, but it's told from, sorry, um, but it's told from the perspective of Alice Nutter, which is one of the women who were accused. Um, but what I didn't realise about Alice Nutter at the time was that she was actually quite a wealthy woman. She was actually a wealthy widow, so she would be quite interesting for my widow's book. But I'm not sure whether she's really um, elite enough. Um, I think she's kind of one of these women who rose through the ranks um, because she made a fortune in dyeing and in dyeing cloth in a particular like vibrant red colour. She might be good for another book that I had considered, which was like women who'd done well. So like women who went from being poor to like running businesses and then made their fortune kind of that way. So, so yeah, she probably would be quite good for that book, but... Who knows when I'm going to write that one because um, after I've written this third book about widows, I am taking a break from non-fiction because I want to focus on fiction, script writing and children's stuff. So that will come at some point in the future. But anyway, the book itself, The Daylight Gate, is really interesting and um, it's a really easy read. Um, so I'm really enjoying a kind of romp through quite a good few pages on that. Then jumped in the shower, saw Tom off. He's just gone off with a colleague. Um, he's working off site today outside of Huddersfield. So um yeah, and then, like I say, made myself another coffee and I'm back at my desk. So I think, you know, I'm probably going to leave filming here for now just because half past eight is about the time that I would sit down at my desk anyway. So I'm back to kind of like where I would normally be in the morning. And also, I don't want this to be a super, super long video. So I'll probably check in again this evening, kind of like five o'clock when I'm finishing work, just to check in and see how my kind of standard working day has been affected by getting up at 5am. You know, has it 
boosted my productivity and therefore I'm going to romp ahead all today? Or has it meant that by five o'clock I'm really, really tired? So I don't know how it's going to work, but I will check back in with you later on today and let you know kind of how it's gone and how I feel. Hello everyone, I've come to stand in the bedroom in front of the window in the hopes that I don't look quite as knackered um, as I feel, but I suspect looking at myself in the camera that I do look very tired. I am tired. It's now five o'clock and I've finished um, the day's work. Um, I think, to be honest, after the first day, I'm not necessarily seeing a huge improvement in productivity. Um, I didn't expect it to work after the first day, to be honest. Um, but on a normal day where I would work later, I'm having to finish at five o'clock because I'm so exhausted. So I'll be really interested to see in the next couple of days if my kind of endurance lasts longer in the day, the more I get used to being up so early. I suspect it will, um, but we'll have to see. Um, in terms of how I've got on throughout the day, I did find that the first part of the day from like kind of half past eight until 11, really productive, like totally on fire, doing loads of stuff, um, get lo got loads of emails sorted. And so that was really, really productive. And then I had a couple of hours kind of not off, but more relaxed over lunchtime because I'd obviously done that couple of hours at five o'clock in the morning. And then the afternoon, um, I was working on client work for like a full afternoon with a client. So um, I found it a little bit slower than the morning, but I still managed to get through all the work that I needed to do. Well, I didn't get through everything, but that wasn't to do with being tired. That was to do with just issues with a website that I was trying to sort. But yeah, I managed to do obviously a full afternoon's worth of work. So uh, first impressions at the moment is that I do quite like getting up early. Um, I didn't mind it too much this morning once I was out of bed. That kind of getting up and out of bed at five o'clock in the morning was tough. But to be honest, once I was up, I quite liked it. So yeah, I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and see Tom. I'm going to go do some cross stitching and I'll catch up with you at five o'clock tomorrow morning. morning everybody I'm sat up in bed and it's a bit of a weird one to start I mean I completely actually forgot to start the video at five o'clock this morning um I was surprisingly tired this morning I was kind of expecting it to be a lot easier this morning or not a lot easier but like a little bit easier I think because I went to bed early so I was in bed and asleep by like 10 o'clock um I expected to find it a lot easier to get up in the morning and I didn't have found it a little bit harder so that was interesting so I just got up made myself a drink um and went and got into the office and did about done about an hour and 45 minutes work something like that um just applying for some tenders tender opportunities that I'd seen for marketing stuff so did a couple of those I've decided that every morning I'm going to do something different so that um, I don't feel like I'm having to do the same thing over and over again because I think that will mean that I'd be less likely to want to do it. Um, but yeah, I was working away at about kind of half past six, quarter to seven. Um, and I was like, right, I'll just finish this last little bit and then I'll go make some coffees and take one into Tom and start waking him up. And he was stood behind me, <laughs> which freaked me out at first. Um, and he was like, oh, I kind of woke up at about half past six so I think I'm gonna cycle into work amazing I mean Tom does cycle into work regularly anyway um but normally we kind of plan it in advance and he gets his all his kit out the night before just so that it makes that process of getting up and getting on the bike a bit easier every, in the morning um but yeah he just kind of got up and thought it's a beautiful day and it really is another lovely day um he thought I'd just I'd just like to bike in so that's a positive that's come out of this is that we're both kind of now starting to get up a little bit earlier so yeah seven o'clock now I made myself a cup of coffee um I don't know if I mentioned this earlier I don't think I did um but I I had coffee as soon as I woke up at five o'clock yesterday and I think it was too early so this morning I went and made myself a cup of um hot water with lemon honey and cinnamon in it 
Um, I probably needed to put a little bit less cinnamon in it, but I'll learn for tomorrow. Um, but it, it was much nicer. It was much better than having a coffee first thing. So I've got my coffee now um, at seven o'clock, which is about about average, about half an hour earlier than I normally would, but that's okay. Um, and I'm going to continue reading The Daylight Gate. So I've got, yeah, about an hour and a half before I need to start work. So I think I'm going to read my book for about half an hour. Then I'm going to go in the shower, finally wash my hair because it is hair washing day. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of my morning. I might have a potter about, do a little bit of tidying. Um, I don't want to work now until half past eight because I've done my kind of two hours this morning. So I want a little bit of a break now. So yeah. So far, like I say, the hardest thing is definitely getting up. And then once I'm up, I seem to be um, kind of a lot better and a lot sprightlier. So, yeah. Good morning everyone. It is now 10 to 7. I am downstairs and I'm talking a little bit quietly again because um, Tom's still in bed but it's 10 to 7 so I did get up at 5 o'clock. I did film a little bit of uh, footage of um, the clock on the oven just so you could see that it was definitely 5 o'clock um, and I made myself a hot water with lemon. Um, I didn't put any cinnamon in it this morning. I definitely need the cinnamon because it was a little bit bitter without it. Um, and yeah, I went sat up at my desk and did a couple of little bits of work, did a meditation, which was lovely. And uh, now, like I say, it's seven o'clock, I'm going to make a coffee and I'm going to go and get into bed and I'm going to do some reading. And then I'm going to wake Tom up and get showered um, and get to work. So... This morning was really hard getting out of bed. Like I seriously considered having like an extra 15 minutes. Um, so I really don't know how I'm gonna be doing by um, the end of this week. I am thinking if I do keep this going past this week, I'm wondering whether I could do like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 5 a.m. and then like have a slightly later start on a Wednesday just to break it up a bit. I think that might work a little bit more. Um, but we'll see how I get on towards the end of this week. By Friday, I might be like, nope, I am never getting up at five o'clock again <laughs> in my life. But we'll see. Um, I think, like I said before, the hardest bit is getting out of bed. Once I'm out and sat at my desk, I can kind of come round um, a bit. And by this point, by like six, half six, I feel great. And I'm kind of awake and I'm doing things. Um, but I think if I got up at six, it would take me until seven to feel good and to have come round. So it's a bit of a weird one. I feel like I do need to get up that early so that I've got longer to come round so that I'm feeling productive and feeling active by six o'clock or by half past six. So it's a really interesting one. I like the idea of it so far. Um, and I won't say that I'm totally hating it either, which I thought I would do to be fair. But yeah, coffee is definitely needed now. <laughs> Good morning all. Um, I am sat at my desk. <laughs> um, it's quite clearly not 5am in the morning because I'm talking loudly. Although Tom was away for work last night, so I suppose I could have started talking at 5 o'clock. Um, but I wasn't awake at 5 o'clock. I know. Um, so basically Tom was away for work. He was sitting down in Bath last night. And I never sleep very well when he's not here. Um, I have a lot of anxieties around fires in the middle of the night and break-ins. It's just one of those things I'm just anxious about it. Um, I have this whole little routine for closing down the house on a night. I have to check the doors are locked. And um, when Tom's not here, I feel more anxious because I feel like I'm the only vulnerable person in the house. And I don't know how I would cope if somebody did break in or if there was a fire and I was on my own. So... All of that usually plays around in my mind whenever Tom's not here. And I miss him, obviously. Um, and so last night it was like half past 12, one o'clock before I got to bed. Um, just because I didn't feel tired because of the anxiety, because I was thinking about all of these things. And so it got to five o'clock this morning and I'd had like four hours sleep and I just couldn't get up at all so I didn't <laughs> um, I got up at seven instead and I've had a little bit of a chill morning it is absolutely boiling hot which is why I don't have a stitch of makeup on I probably look a little bit sweaty and I'm sorry about that I do also have the fan on in the background so if you can hear um 
hear that going that's what it is um i've got that on just to try and keep myself a bit cool because it's gonna be like 29 degrees today um and i was saying to tom on the phone i would at the moment at this stage i would quite like to keep doing this and um, getting up early but i think i might um have like wednesday off in the week but anyway i'm starting to talk about it now and i said i wasn't going to do it until tomorrow so i will catch back in with you tomorrow and we'll have a discussion about how i think this challenge has gone and then on Friday morning, I didn't do any speaking to camera work again. I was really tired by Friday morning. So I just went to my desk at five o'clock and I did a bit of work. Um, again, just did a few different things that I'm trying to do a different task every morning so that it doesn't get too repetitive and too boring. Uh, but then I was interrupted by a fluffy cat who decided that he wanted to come and lay across my desk and receive lots of cuddles and snuggles. So who can resist that face when he comes for a little snuggle? Although he does have a penchant for sitting on my la on my um, keyboard. <laughs> so he always seems to try and find the keyboard to sit on. So I have to kind of try and whisk that away before he sits on it. But he's very cute. Although when he's had enough, he does bite me to say that he's had enough. So, you know, I take the good with the bad. Um, and yeah, when I'd finished that, I went and did some reading in bed again. That's become a really lovely kind of morning thing that I've done um, all this week. And I've really enjoyed it. And then after that, I just completed uh, the daily routine and got to work. Right, so it's now the following Monday after I did my getting up at 5am every morning week and I thought I'd come and have a chat properly about it because I didn't really get a chance to talk much um, during the week because it was 5am, I didn't want to disturb my neighbour, I didn't want to disturb Tom and also there's only so many times you can say I'm getting up now and I'm making a coffee and I'm going to go sit at my desk and I just felt like I was repeating myself. I mean I've been editing the video down this morning and I've edited out a couple of repetitions and I still feel like I talk too much on it about the fact that I'm just making a cup of coffee. So yeah, I thought it would be better to just sit down after I've kind of done the whole challenge, edited the video and I can think about um, how it all went a little bit more and try and be a bit more kind of comprehensive and cohesive. So what did I think of the challenge? I actually really enjoyed doing something a little bit new and trying out um, a kind of a challenge type video. I really enjoyed that. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it as well. If you've watched it up till now, then thank you very much. Um, I'll try and keep this quite short. I think um, for me, I do think it increased my productivity in a certain way. So I think the act of getting up at five o'clock every morning was hard for me in terms of just literally getting out of bed. But then once I was up, I kind of felt okay. And when I sat down at my desk at five o'clock, um, I found that I was naturally going to do some work. And I literally, I sat down at my desk because I didn't really have anywhere else to sit. I didn't want to sit downstairs and put the telly on and just sit on the couch. And I didn't want to come back to bed with my coffee because I felt like I might fall asleep if I got back into bed. So the natural place to go was to go and sit at my desk. And I hadn't intended to start proper work. But I found myself naturally thinking, oh, well, I'll just do a little bit of social media and I'll just do a, a couple of emails. And so naturally, I found myself doing work in that kind of hour to two hours from five till seven o'clock. And I actually really enjoyed that. I think it allowed me to do some tasks that normally are like either right at the bottom of my to do list or they're the things that I try and squeeze in around other work. And for me, it was really important to be able to get them not important, but it was really beneficial to be able to get them out of the way first thing in the morning because then they weren't like hanging over my shoulder like oh you should be doing this you really should be doing these tasks um, and that was really good for my kind of like work mental health I feel like it improved um, that I don't think it made me more productive as in I don't think it gave me more kind of working hours in the day because by the time it got to five o'clock I was shattered and so I was actually finishing work at five o'clock and then leaving the office um, I think that was really good though because what I would do before this challenge was I would work until five o'clock on kind of client proper work and then I would work from like five until six thirty on all those additional tasks and things that I knew I had to do but I hadn't had time to do during the day and that meant that by the time I got downstairs to start kind of dinner it was like seven o'clock and we were eating late and it cut into my evening with Tom and so I think doing it this way around meant that I got that kind of little bit of time in the morning to do something in a quiet productive um really enjoyable space but it also meant that I then got 
the evening with Tom, more time with him. So I think those were definitely the positives to doing it. And those are the type of things that would encourage me to try doing it going forward, which I'll come on to talk about in a minute. Um, But there were definitely a couple of, not negatives, but kind of things that I found for myself. Um, So by the end of the week, I was really struggling. I was finding that I was absolutely shattered in the morning. As you'll know, if you've watched this far, I didn't actually manage to get up on Thursday. So that is one thing I would say. For me, it doesn't feel like I would necessarily definitely be able to do it every single day of the week. Um, One thing I would like to try going forward is I would like to try doing some kind of blend of getting up early and not so for me i wondered if you'll you'll know from the video i wondered if like if i'd had wednesday off would that have made thursday and friday a little bit easier to get up early and i think that's what i'm going to try monday tuesday wednesday being a morning when i get up at like seven half seven and then try thursday and friday at five and see if that helps i know there is an argument that says that consistency is key to helping your body adjust. Um, So I'm just going to play it by ear and see how I go along. I think the key thing for me, the key takeaway is that I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I thought by Wednesday, I'd be like, no, no, I'm not doing this anymore. And I'd just fail. Um, And I actually don't feel like I did fail. Obviously, I didn't do every single day of the week, but I still think it was a success. And yeah, I'd still like to take some of those things that I've learned and some of the... um, kind of habits that I've seen the potential to cultivate in that week into kind of my working um, style going forward. So yeah, I think that's um, about everything. I've got a lot more I could say about it, but as you know with me, I can always talk more than I should. Um, So I'm going to cut this off here. Let me know what you thought. If you want to have a further discussion about it in the comments section, um, you know me, I'm always happy to have a chat in the comments. Um, I'm going to put links to the meditation in the description bar so you can go and have a look at that and if you've got any other ideas of these kind of videos that you would like me to do any other challenges any other any other kind of tips and tricks for productivity that other people do that you would like me to discuss or have a go at doing then let me know um you know i'm always up for suggestions and i want to give you the content that you want to see as much as i want to make the videos that i enjoy as well so yes let me know um if you're subscribed already thank you very much if you're not and you've watched a couple of videos and you're considering subscribing please do um you can hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time a new video comes out i publish every monday evening so yeah thank you very much in advance if you do decide to become a subscriber and if you really like what i do you can join me on patreon and become a patron of my videos and the more patrons that i get the more content i'm going to be able to publish on youtube we have a goal of getting up to two videos a week which will be really exciting so if you enjoy what i do and you want to see me make more videos then please do consider becoming a patron um and yeah i will see you again next monday with another video thanks guys take care and stay safe bye